Hello guys, let's give you guys a quick um, a fast guide on how to use hotkeys What all the different hotkeys are so the first hotkey is gonna be the Q button What it will do it will select all units on the on, um, on the screen right now So if I press it one time you'll we'll see button? here left hand side you selected across screen and all my units on the screen have been selected If I now want to select all units on the entire map I just press it two times very fast Search and you'll China's see selected across map and I will see all my units have been selected. This literally select every unit except um, supply trucks, doses and hackers. So you don't have to worry about those units. Then the next button we're gonna talk about is the W button. What it does is it actually select all the air units across the map or on the screen. So if I press it one time when the air units on my map, uh, on my screen, we'll see select across screen and now all these air units have been selected the four meeks and the two helixes and the other um, uh, meeks have are not selected even though i do it fast right. you'll see once again select across map all my air units are selected here but also on the other airfield so it will be no matter where on the map they are they will all be selected and you can then use them very fast and very easy the next button is um so let's say you want to select one unit uh, one type of unit across the screen there are two ways to do that you can either double click China's and they have all the same units selected or you can click one unit on um, click on one unit select one unit and then press the button E we'll select it across the screen once again like you can see here uh, the thing with the E button that you don't have to double click is you can actually select all units across the entire screen with those as well so let's say I have one tank under selected I want Carry all of the them on the gun. entire screen I press double E once again select across the entire map you see these has been selected these have been selected but only those tank um tank units but now if i want to say but i want the pedal master and the tank hunter selected all of those types i can easily do that as well so just select both of them Serving then needs. double e and i will um i will have selected all um tank hunters and battle master across the map like you can see battle masters and tank hunters have been selected but that's going to be it as well one way one other way to use it is with shift so let's say you want to um, select different units here in an army. Let's say I want to have this specific tank hunter and maybe I want this tank hunter as well. If you just click it one by one, you'll see one will deselect. If you hold the shift button, you will actually select multiple units across the army. It's also a very nice way of using the E button as well. So let's say I only want to select um, um, the Gatling cannon and the battle master and the tank hunter. All I have to do is set off Right clicking and stuff like that just use shift click on each shank you want to select now you can press e or double e and now you can select all of the same units here across the map like you see flamers and ecms are not selected only the units i wanted to be selected the next thing is gonna be the space bar what the space bar allows you to do is actually goes to the last event that happened on the map so when i press space bar the flaws building I made um, in this map is this command center. It will bring me to this command center. Let's say now, if I um, build a speaker tower here, That's a good once choice. the speaker tower is done, it will give like an event on the map. It's like um, a three little triangle you see in the map. It can be when a building is completed, when a unit has been made, when you're getting attacked, when something is being captured, or when a unit has been spotted. There will be a little triangle on the map. Like let's say your building is being, uh, you just finished your speaker tower and you want to go there. Let's say I'm all the way on top here. The building has just been completed. I press the space bar and I go to that building. So the last event happened on the map for you, only for you. So if an enemy gets attacked, you don't get an alert from it only when you are getting attacked. So this way I can always go back to this building. Um, if this was the last event on the map. If my units get attacked, I press space bar, I'll go straight away to my army. The next thing is gonna be um, the H button. So the H button, in case you don't know, when you have nothing selected and you press H, you actually go to the first command center that, that is built, that is still alive. So if you have like three command centers built, you will always go to the first one that had uh, the, um, the command center that has been built the first. So let's say I'm fighting here on top and I'm fighting and I'm, I'm um, and I want to go quickly to my command center to build some more doses. Is I just press H and I go to my command center. Another way of using H is for your hero. Every army has one hero, Charmy Kill, Burton, or a Lotus. Let's say it's in an army or I don't have a radar van, I lose my map control, I, I cannot see where it is. All I can do is simply press Ctrl H. So Ctrl and H, press those together 
I will go to the hero. Let's say I'm on top here fighting once again and I want to quickly have the hero selected to maybe capture a building or snipe a bedoza or do something useful with it. Just control H and it will go to that hero. Very nice, very easy. Now the next thing is going to be something more unique. Uh, going to be a little bit more useful as well. It's going to be the control 1 to control 0. So you can control plus 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 0. So you have 10 different hotkeys to use. Um, it will be, say, I have a command center selected. And I don't always want to go to the command center at uh, the war factory. I don't always want to go to the war factory to produce units. I, If I'm fighting here, I want to build units, but I don't want to go to the command center visually. All I can really do is actually just um, go to this command uh, war factory, press control plus 1. Control plus one, what allows me to is um, add a one to this command, a wolf factory. I can see a one has been added to this um, wolf factory. And what it will allow me to do is, let's say I'm, I'm fighting on top here. Um, if I press now one, I will have that wolf factory selected. What it does is actually to allow you um, to use micro a little bit better. So you can make army while attacking, so you can keep an eye on your army and still make units. But it doesn't only work with war factories, it also works with units as well. Let's say I want these, these leaks what to be control 2 and the other leaks to yeah. be control 3. If I'm not fighting with them, let's say I'm fighting with them, um, I want to micro them fast, I can send one to the left hand side. When I press 3, I'll send the other one to the right hand side. And now I can switch between them very fast and very easy. You can also um, select multiple units, units to a control group. So let's say. It doesn't work let's with buildings, only with guns. units. So let's say I want to have two mix. Two mix the op optimal way of fighting tanks. Let's say there's a USA, there are V's down there. You want to kill it, you need two mix for that. And you have, a, you have like four, um, eight mix ready. So they can Make strike four different Humvees. But it takes a while, you know, selecting them one by one and stuff like that. But to micro them easy, like two of the mix. Once again, you can select um, the mix, the shift to select China the other mix as well. Force. Give them control one. And then the other two mix, like two China more mix, okay, they control two. We defend China like control airspace. three, and maybe Stop some control four. But you now have Make all China different groups of mix. If I now um, select all my air units on top Initiating of the map, all my mix on top of the map, and I will send them all forward. I can now use control Ever. one or control two. You'll airspace. see always two mix Standing are selected. So let's say I want two mix, I want it uh, to move there. I want two more mix, I want it to move ready. down below. In this way I have a um, very nice um, micro going up between my air units and I can use them the entire time like this. Very useful and I suggest using this as well. But let's say you have... Um, in well, what also you can do with this, um, with these control groups is when you have one, uh, let's say China's I have for now eight, eight mix. Each have one different group. Let's say I don't want to attack with eight mix. I want to, um, or with, uh, with two mix. I want to attack with four mix. Um, and instead of selecting all these mix together like Make this, you can actually just press one, hold uh, like um, hold shift, press one and two. This way you have only those two groups selected. Let's say I want two and three. So now these have been selected and these have been selected and now I can use them as well. But when they're all in each other, it's very difficult to micro them. Aircraft Just one and maybe by. two. So you have four mix selected and then three and four flight. or maybe three, uh, four and one. And now you can move them Leading apart. Confirmed. And the next thing we're going to talk about is going to be um, bookmarks. In case you don't know what it is, a bookmarks are actually a place that you set first and if you're done and press that button again, you will actually keep going to that bookmark without having to scroll around the map. Let's say I want to um, see how my internet center is doing. I can say Control 1 plus F1. So Control plus F1. If I press those, you will see in the top left hand side corner, you see bookmark set. Even I'll go all the way on top to the enemy base and I press now F1. I will go back to that same location. Let's say the I want the enemy base to be visible at all times. I want to I want to keep an eye on it. So control plus F2. And you see bookmark 2 has been set. I can now switch between F1 and F2 without having to go all the way down and all the way on top. And if you don't have a radar, it's also very easy. You can set one, like let's say one at this war factory. The control F1. That one at this war factory, control F2. 
and then maybe um, one at the army here, or control F3, and now you can switch between the wall factories and the thing. Like visually as well. So it can be useful. I don't use it often myself. I probably should use it a lot more, but it is one way of doing it, and I suggest you actually learn how to use it. The next one I think you all know is the false fire button. So all you have to do is select a unit or a building that can attack and just hold control and then left click and now you can force fire the ground or force fire like buildings and stuff like that. Let's say I want to do the same here with a make, all I have to Stop do is hold the make and and uh, control and I force fire the ground. So control and then left click on the ground. Then it will start firing on the ground. Let's say I want to do it in the building. I can now do it on the building. That's very easy and, and straightforward. I am um, by accident. If I want to fire on the building, just control and then force fire it. If it's civilian or if it's, uh, your own or your mates or stuff like that. But they can normally not target. You can do it up with control and then left click. If you have a unit or a building selected, that can actually fire. Now. The next few things are actually going to be more interesting as well. Definitely micro-based. When you don't have enough time to micro something, you can actually um, use this very often. And this is going to be the button um, Alt Left Click. In case you don't know what it is, Alt Left Click allows you to Why move a unit and give it a different path. So let's say this the flight truck. Um, let's say this flamer. Let's say this flamer. I, I'm too busy here fighting, but I want a sneaky flamer going up. What I can do now is actually select a flamer and hold Alt, give it a pathway. And let's say I want to all the way um, fire down here. I can send it like um, all the way, like sneaky, and this will actually keep following that path I gave it. If you want to see that path again, just take Everything the dragon tank, here. the tank you moved or air unit you moved, and just click Alt again. Now you can see where it goes. If you don't want it to move this path, if you don't want it to take this path, just press stop or move right. it somewhere else and it will stop that path. But it's very useful, I can now just send it forward, it being very sneaky in the back, and I can send it past all defenses. And I will keep on moving, and now I can actually attack with this army, or do something else. Same here with the Tosas. Um, let's say if I want the Lixus to be selected like that, I can just do that as well, like select them all, and they will move that way. Maybe with these mix, I can move them around. Very nice. But let's say I have um, I have no airfield. Let's say I lost an airfield. We defend China's airspace. Let's get these mix up. So let's say I have four mix up, and um, my airfield dies. So my airfield dies, and, and my mix are dead. And my mix that don't have bullets, they will actually start losing health. In case you don't know, when your mix doesn't have bullets, they will actually start dying. Like you can see, it will all start dying. They will all start losing health. To prevent this actually, all you can do is also use the ALT key, like move them around, give them ALT, move them to another location, and so on and so forth. Meanwhile, you can build your airfield and your we air units, um, your mix will actually keep staying alive. But you have to keep moving them until the airfield is actually up. For now, I can just keep moving them, and until the airfield is up, and then the mix will, um, when they're done moving and the airfield is up, they will actually go back to, um, to a random airfield. That has open spots and they will land and refuel and heal up as well. So that's one way of um, securing your air units. In the meantime, like you can see, my leaks have arrived and my flamer has arrived on top of the map here, ready to flame some buildings that you didn't have time to micro for. Okay, but there are a few more interesting um, hotkeys as well that I will um, tell you about. Uh, one of them is Control plus F. In case you don't know what Control plus F is, it actually allows your tanks to move at the same speed and in the same formation. So let's say I now have a big army here. Reporting. I have this big army. It has some tanks and some RPGs. And I want them all to stay in the formation and move in that formation as well with the same speed. I can give them Control plus F. You'll you see all my units now have Control F and if I now move map forward, you'll see they all move at the same speed and it will all move straight forward. They won't traffic jam as much as normal and no matter where you move them to, if I want to move them up, if I want to move them sideways. We will defend this territory. It's sideways a little bit buggy, but they will all go back in that same formation they had. Just take some time for them to um, rearrange again. Yes, if I want to move on top again, the army will move and go back in that position. 
can be very useful when having a big army with Avengers and stuff like that. Or you don't want your army to move that fast, you can actually use that as well. I suggest you using that. It can sometimes be useful, definitely when attacking an area here. Your army might actually traffic jam, you don't want that happening. Another way of using um, Ctrl F is, let's say you want your tanks to just drive straight forward without actually going left and right and stuff like that. Just keep on Ctrl F. Like I see this better model to just drive straight forward. China needs us there. If I want to make them slower, what I can do is... To new area. Yes, General. But I, let's say I want this battle master to be move a little bit slower, I add like China's one MD soldier. to it. Yes, like one unit that is slower and that way I can move the speed. So now Fighting it moves like this. If I want it slower, just add Ctrl F. Um, if you select an extra unit, then if you don't, it will first deselect it. If you then, um, re, um, if you then do Ctrl F again, it will give the tank hunter also it and then it will yes, move general. even slower at the same speed Moving as the tank hunter. Yes, can be very useful oh, in waves. Doesn't really work effectively with air units, they're a little bit buggy when using that. It can also be done on the right ways. But this can be very useful if you have a big army and you don't want it to fight. So let's say I don't want this tank on this in his army. And I want this army to be a little bit more prepared. Like it's, it's not difficult to make that happen. What I can do now is just give it a short unit, give it a control F and it will move. They will all just straight forward. If I don't use this control F, like I will see they will all go to one point. They all go straight forward. They all go slowly start driving towards each other. They might actually start traffic jamming, but if I give them control F, they will just try straight forward. They won't try to go to that one point you selected, they actually try to all go straight forward. It's actually very nice. And one way to attack um, some space as well. The next thing I'll show that many people Fighting actually don't know army. about is um, how to follow a unit. How to follow a unit is actually very simple. It's, it requires a lot of buttons though. So it's very simple, but it requires four buttons to be pressed at the same time. So let's say I have this tank under. And I want um, to move it, and, um, yes, and I want general. to move it. But uh, I don't want to keep scrolling around, you know. And I just want it to be in my middle of the screen. I want to see it. You can actually just follow it with Control, Alt, Shift, T. What it does now is Holy I don't have to mark or anything. I can just watch this RPG move forward. I can even zoom in. I can watch it move forward very easy. On the hunt. Let's find the tanks. Same can be done with any type of unit. Let's say I want to do the same here with a MiG. MIG in so I just take that MIG, give my control Alt F T, and then I can actually follow MIG it around with the entire map. I can just follow it around, see where it goes, Altering and uh, um, it's that easy. Hitting confirmed. So now I don't have to Copy move. That. This MIG will stay in the middle of the screen. You can zoom in a little if you want to, and it will just start course. moving. Very, very nice, very fun as well. Then there are a few more buttons you guys need to know. Definitely when using an army and stuff like that. Let's say I have an army here. You have the three buttons down here, but they also have um, hotkeys for it. So you have attack move, guard mode, and stop. In case you don't know what attack move is, is let's say I want to fight these defense here, but I don't know if there are units in between. What you can do is just attack move, so Q one time. Um, no, A one time. Like you can see the button A, you press that one time or you click here and they can China move it down below and it will attack every unit that can attack back, like every unit or defense, every unit or defense, it will attack while it's driving towards the location you want to. So let's say there's a, a tank down here, it's close to the building, we'll actually first kill that one and then go further to kill the other stuff. That's what attack, attack move does, it attacks any this. unit that is between you and the, t and the place you actually set the attack move to. Like any unit and defense kills that and then goes forward. It doesn't go and kill buildings unless it's defense. The other thing is guard mode. What guard mode do, does is actually attack at the location you want to attack. Gun barrel spinning. Let's say so units are all the way on top again. Uh, you only want to attack these defense, but you don't care what's in between. You just want it to go through straight to the defense and attack here. What you can do then is just um, press the button. Uh, Click on the guard mode thing or on G for guard mode. You can just send Move it forward. 
and then it will just go to that area and start attacking this air defense here without actually having to worry about units in between and this will actually attack anything it will attack units defense and any buildings as well so it, could, it will kill your command center um war factory whatever the next button that is actually very good for micro wise is the stop button every unit and defense has that button so let's say i'm um let's say i'm driving with a very fast unit like um and i cannot click, keep let's clicking like there. this and i just want to stop and going there is too long what you let's get out and there. going down below is too long takes too long what i can do is just ah, press yes. the s button and will instantly stop okay. as well Here s we to stop hot key for stop if you move it around let's get out you just press stop very easy Okay. Very easy microwave, and I suggest using that one as Let's well. Definitely useful. So, there are many of these buttons there are in this game. There are a lot of them. Um, literally every building has hotkeys. So let's say I have a dozer. You see every building has hotkeys. In case you don't know what the hotkey is, what you simply can do is hover above that, that building. I will see the yellow um, number... Um, no the yellow letter inside that um, that name is the hotkey for that specific building. I have different type of hotkeys, so you won't have the button F for re for reactor. It might be the R for reactor. So every single bu um, building and unit has a different color, uh, as a different letter as hotkey. So in case this one, it's just a yellow number on the name. Just click that one when you have a... You when you have, a, you have a dozer selected or maybe you have a war factory selected. If you want to produce fast, but you don't want to click here, it takes too much time, you can just press right here, you can press, press that button that you have selected for that um, specific building. Maybe with mines, maybe you want some mines, you press that button for mines, the hotkey for mines, and I will actually make that. That means, let's say you have a hacker, Laptop. you can have a hotkey for hacking. All you have to do is just click on that and I simply make it hack. Facilities. And so you have buildings for everything, uh, hotkeys for everything, to make makes, to make upgrades, but just learn how to use them. It's very useful. We if I have this building plans. and I have to select down this, you know, select the power button, uh, and maybe then I want to build a barracks, it, and it's not fine, and then you have to manually cancel all these buildings, it takes very long. But let's say if I do the same, I use all these hotkeys. That's a good choice. That's and if I now want to cancel this building, I, I've just pressed the hotkey for cancel and I cancel it very fast. That is how you be fast in a game. That's how you can micro, uh, macro the best thing. Just learn the hotkeys. They're really useful and that can make you a very good player in... The sh in um, you can upgrade your level that you play in by a lot by just learning these hotkeys. Really, really useful. And I definitely suggest you using them all. I might have missed a few hotkeys here, but these are the main ones. And I definitely suggest you all using them. And um, I'll actually quickly show you one more um, hotkey. In case you don't know, is there you have a button here called Idle Worker. It selects an um, idle worker or an idle dozer. There is another button for that on your keyboard. Um, and it will select any dozer or worker, no matter if they are building or not building, if they are moving or not building. If I now, if I now, That's a good start. if I now have this dozer here, you see this dozer is moving, it won't select. If I now have this dozer remove and that dozer remove, you see I cannot click on the idle worker button again. But instead of doing that, you um, you actually work with control up or down. We will also switch between workers and dozers, but this will select between work, uh, with um, workers or those that are building or not building or moving or not building. Let's say this one is building a war factory mm, and this one is building a power prosperity. plant and this we one is building another plans. war factory. I can now not press this button and let's say my command center dies and we'll quickly rebuild that command center. All I have to do is control arrow up or down and I'll sit between all those even though even those that are actually building. So I definitely suggest you all use these hotkeys as best as you can. They are useful. They are the way to go. They are the way to go to become a pro, to become an expert, to become way better at, um, than you are right now. And to make your life just easier, it makes building a base way faster. It makes ma making an army way faster. It does a lot of things. Use these hotkeys. 
and you will become a better and better and better but just try and use them not just ah, I, I use it now once try and use every single hotkey there is and learn how to use them and that way at the beginning you'll struggle a lot but you'll become better at it it will become muscle memory and then you'll become one of the best players um, out there so keep using them all types of hotkeys and I swear you will be one of the you will be one of the better players out there but yeah this will be it for me for today hope you guys enjoyed this little um this tutorial here on how to use every single hotkey there are more hotkeys out there that i haven't mentioned yet in case they are let me know down in the comments i um and i'll probably post like an updated video of the hotkeys that i missed but this will be it for me for the, um guys um this will be it for today I hope to see you guys later and have a good day and bye bye.